this lecture is about conditional probability. So let's say that I have an experiment for which I have defined two events. Let's call these events A and B. The probability that A is true is denoted as always by P parenthesis A. However, it might actually be the case that I know that B is true. Even if I know that B is true, that information may not tell me if A is true or false. But knowing that B is true might actually change the probability of A being true. And this conditional probability is denoted by a P of A, then a bar B. And it's pronounced the probability of A given that B is true. For example, let's say that A is it's going to rain tomorrow. Then P of A is the probability that it will rain tomorrow. Let's say that B is it's raining today and I know that B is true. Well in that case the conditional probability P of A given B is the probability that it will rain tomorrow given that it rains today. Compare that to P of A, which is the probability that it will rain tomorrow and I have no information if it's raining today or not. For this example, it seems likely that the conditional probability of raining tomorrow given that it was raining today is larger than the probability that it will rain tomorrow with no additional information. Sometimes we call this thing here the un conditional probability as it is the probability of A with no additional information. So here is the definition. A and B are any two events. And the symbol we use for the conditional probability P of A given B is the probability of the event A given that we know that B is true. Here is a simple example. My sample space consists of 1 through 6. So the experiment could be to toss a dice. I have two events. I have an event A consisting of 1 and 2. And I have an event B consisting of 1 and 3. I assume that each outcome is equally likely. Which means that P of A is 1 by 3. And P of B is 1 by 3. However, if you want to compute the conditional probability of A given B. Then you have to think like this. Okay, so you know that B is true. That is, you know that when you toss the dice, it came up either 1 or 3. But that's all you know. Since each outcome is equally likely, it must be that the probability of 1 is 50% and the probability of 3 is 50%. If the dice came up a 1, then A will be true, and if the dice came up at 3, then A will be false. So that means that when I know that B is true, A will be true 50% of the cases. So the conditional probability is one half compared to the unconditional probability, which is 1 by 3. Knowing that B is true, makes it slightly more likely that A is true compared to the case where you know nothing. Here's another example. Let's say that the event B is a subset of the event A. Well, in that case we know that if B is true, A must be true. And since the conditional probability answers the question, what is the probability that A is true if I know that B is true, this must be 1 or 100 percent. Knowing that B is true guarantees that A is true. In a similar example, let's say that A and B are mutually exclusive. They have no items in common. What would then be the probability of A given B? Again, I know that B is true but I also know that these are mutually exclusive events, meaning that if B is true, A must be false. So this probability must be zero. 
In general, the conditional probability can always be computed from this formula, as the ratio of the probability of the intersection divided by the probability of the event that we are conditioning on. Trying out this formula for the first example, we have A intersection B being equal to 1, and that gives us that probability of A given B is the probability of the intersection, so this probability is 1 over 6. The probability of B must be 2 over 6 since B has two elements, and this is 1 half. Considering the example where B was a subset of A, then A intersection B must be equal to B. And that tells us the conditional probability of A given B is P of B divided by P of B, which is again 1. And finally, trying out the formula for A intersection B equal to the null event, we have P A intersection B equal to 0, and so the conditional probability will be 0 as well.